Well, well, I've never done it before, but uh, but sure. <laughs> well, I've, I've never done it before, but uh, but sure. I'm sure that people, when I'm driving around Los Angeles, think I'm crazy because oftentimes when we have a song coming up or something like that, I'll get the track and I'll be like in my car at a stoplight, like rehearsing. I'm sure they're like, "What is he doing? What's happening right now?" Um, so that's that's probably one way. But I I don't know. I always I always look for how something could be a character. So I like you know if you see like a funny set of pipes that look like they have a nose and eyes or um, you know my my mom would, would always tell me when I was growing up I would I would you know pick up like the salt and pepper shakers and give them life and give them characters well I'm not really sure that giving a coral tour is gonna be a yearly tradition for me but uh, well maybe but I still don't really feel like I'm celebrating coral day yet <laughs> Hmm. I guess so. Well, you know, it's funny because you would think that puppeteers are incredibly agile, and I, I am in some ways, but I'm also really clumsy, and I'm convinced it's because I'm I'm doing such crazy motions with my fingers all day <laughs> that they never really arrest. So, like, I'll, I'm the first one to knock over a cup of coffee. How the reef was formed by coral. Uh, yeah, of course. You got it. Whatever you want, Mr. Brett, you're the director. I didn't quite get that. <laughs> mm. Don, I'll do a little, a little uh, hesitation. Yeah, I've never done it before, but uh, well, sure. <laughs> yeah, whenever I get a massage, the masseuse is always like, "What do you do?" Because I have the weirdest like knots on my back and my shoulders, and as soon as I say I'm a puppeteer, they're like, "Yeah, all right." Like, <laughs> I guess it just comes with, with the with the with the with the fun work that we do. I don't know. Hey, Dunk, uh, I didn't quite uh, get that. Uh, hey, Dunk, I uh, I didn't quite get that. Well, Frank Oz, who's one of the most famous puppeteers, who was the original Miss Piggy and Fozzie Bear, he always had this quote where he said, you know, if you're comfortable, you're not doing it right, which is probably true for what we do. Um, but, you know, it's funny, when you're puppeteering on like Sesame Street and you have the puppet over your head all day, there's a whole set of muscles that really hurts. And in this case, we have our hands like this, kind of forward in front of us, and that's a whole other set of muscles. So, yeah, it is, it is a little uncomfortable sometimes, but, uh, you, you know, I always remind myself, like, you're living the dream. There are worse things there are worse things than having sore muscles, so. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> huh? What, well, right now? Uh, okay, sure. Uh, why not?